Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine. So today I've got another Planet Zoo episode for you and we are back in Lakefield Zoo, which is our franchise mode zoo. And this is what we did last episode. We built the entrance building area or at least half of it. Because if we have a look over here, this half is still unfinished. So hopefully we'll complete this today or at least get a decent portion of it finished. That's what I'm hoping to get done this episode. Oh, we've got some vet research complete oh and guests think tickets are under price as well so that's really good we can up those and that seems to have fixed it so hopefully that is a good price for them let's unbox this animal but first what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to the animal trade center because I want to get some peacocks added to this zoo and I really want a white peacock as well or peafowl I should say shouldn't I really so here we are let's have a look and see what their genes are like oh okay their genes are actually really good and we've got a male one as well so I might get oh should I get one of each perhaps I'm not sure well I definitely want this one because that's gold so I will also get a couple of normal females actually let's see how many need to be in the same enclosure okay so at least four up to four males so let's get this male as well because he's gold he looks really good and then let's get this male white one as well I'm not sure if we'll end up separating them out into two different enclosures perhaps we'll do that depends how much space we end up with we've got a male and female in each color which I'm really happy with so let's put them all into the quarter quarantine these tags here sort of identify which building is where so that's helpful so the other thing i really wanted to do quickly was just check whether guests are happy with the prices for our food and drink stalls so we've got some complaints that it looks really busy and that they need the toilet but other than that it looks like we've got the prices just about right so that's good how about this one so we've got an old one that it's saying is too expensive so i'm not sure if that's sort of current or not so we'll maybe sort of wait that out and there are some negative thoughts that it's really really busy so that means we're probably going to have to get some more food stalls at some point and I think once we redo this building I will put the food further back and then maybe turn it into a restaurant somewhere I'm not sure where I'm going to do that and what it's going to look like yet <laughs> but that'll be something for the future and I think maybe we should consider hiring more mechanics because yeah a lot of these fences are getting damaged pretty quickly let's have a look how many we've currently got these are our staff we got six keepers and only four mechanics so that feels like maybe we should have more mechanics maybe we should have six in total so let's do that and then make sure their salaries are as low as possible okay and I don't think I've got any workers apart from the keepers in work zones so that might be something to consider later on but I don't want to deal with that just yet oh no we've got diseased animal oh no we've got lots of diseased animals oh dear okay that is a point do we have enough vets I might get two more vets because bear in mind that we have got two vets on research at the same time as well so maybe we just need a third vet because I think we've got like six enclosures so that would be a good balance I think three vets across six animals caretakers seem to be doing a good job they seem fine vendors seem a bit busy we only have four vendors but we've got two tickets and two food shops so i might hire two more vendors so hopefully their workload calms down i need to go through and sort out their money at some point but i can't work out how to get that view that we get that pops up up here from here without sort of clicking through them individually so i might like work out what the minimum money should be paid i know someone commented it in a previous video for I don't have it to hand so I'll sort of figure that out later maybe after we've done some building. Keepers have got a high workload actually so maybe we could train them up it's just these particular keepers let's also train up the security guard because we're making so much profit now so i feel like we can be less stingy with things like salaries and then we could also just train up these caretakers because there's not very many of them let's also train up these two vendors that we just added so now i want to create a really really rough 
enclosure for the peacocks because they're ready to go. Okay, so I've just built a really rough enclosure next to the cassowaries over here for the Indian peafowls. So <laughs> this will definitely change, hopefully in this episode, if not in a future episode. Oh, we've got some mechanical research as well. Oh, the Indian theme. That was because I wanted to unlock a specific blueprint from the Steam Workshop. So maybe that will be unlocked now. Hopefully it is. This one? Oh, it's unlocked now. Oh, that's excellent. So we can create at least part of the gift shop today. That was what I was hoping to do. So that's really exciting. I've also got some of these plushies as well, which I'm really looking forward to using. They're so cute. And I will link all of the blueprints that I use in the video description box down below in case you're interested. But now let's try and see if we can get these animals into their enclosure. Oh, why is Bader in here in the quarantine? Oh, I must have accidentally put them in there instead of the people. Hang on, let me have a look. Let's move these three in first. So they're now going in there. So I have no stored animals. So if I want a male white peafowl, I thought I had one, but for some reason it obviously didn't complete, then I will have to buy another one. Let's do that. We want a white male one. Oh, there's not any more. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, well, I think we need to buy one more male because we need at least four in the same habitat. So let's get a normal male and put them in the quarantine. There, there we go. And then Ada, storage, that's where we want them to be. Conservation, claim rewards. <sighs> keeper cannot reach habitat. Well, we need another keeper then because we've set up our work zones. So one more keeper. I should have gone through and done this as I went along, but I always forget to set their wages down. But yeah, okay, so let's just set up a work zone quickly for them. We want to call it Peafowl, this enclosure, and then we want a staff room. Okay, so here we are. Here's our white peafowl. Oh, she's so pretty. So if you have any names for these, let me know down in the comment below. I feel like these guys are going to breed super quickly because they always do in previous games that I've had. Well, I don't know if that'll be a pain or a good thing because it will bring in income, I suppose. Here's our male one over here. Oh, he's pretty, isn't he? Very blue. Oh, that's a better view of her there. Look, look at that light. Oh, <laughs> She's so pretty. Hopefully they have white babies. That would be really cute. We should definitely keep an eye out for another male one. Oh, okay. And this other male that we've got has passed quarantine and is ready to go into their new home. There we go. So now I think I'm going to go into a bit of a build mode. Hopefully try and at least get most of this gift shop done. At least like the exterior and a bit of the interior maybe. And then I might move on to sorting out this area. So redoing the castle and possibly even the p-file i'm not quite sure so yeah i will go into like i say a little bit of a speed build and i will catch up with you when we are done so we are in build mode and I am so happy to be back building in this zoo. I really missed it. It's been several weeks now since I posted a Planet Zoo video because over the last few weeks I had a couple of different videos that I wanted to post for various reasons. So I posted a video announcing a new open world horse riding game called Astride that I am hoping to be adding to my channel once it comes out. And by the way, if you're interested in this game, then they just posted some more footage of the gameplay as well as a kickstarter fund as well so if you're interested in going and helping to support its development then i'll link that down in the description below but it looks really good and i'm super excited about it but i also posted a video of a sims bead build using the new wedding pack that was recently released and i was in full interview mode last week because i've been having to reapply for my job to be made permanent because up until now it's only been temporary i've been a temporary promotion so I didn't post anything last week so I'm really sorry about that I wanted to but I was just in that kind of frame of mind where I needed to not worry about anything or sort of have any jobs to think about I just needed to prepare for my interview and for that to occupy all of my thoughts basically but that's over now thankfully and it was good news because the interview went well and I was offered my job which like I say is just the exact same job that I was already doing it's just a permanent 
permanent contract now, which is nice. But yeah, I'm really sorry that we haven't had any Planet Zoo content on the channel for a while, but I do plan on fixing that, I promise, because this series is my favourite to create videos for, so I might end up adding a few more episodes in a row for this series, just to make up for the gap. And I'm not sure what I want to do in the next episode yet. I think we should definitely add a new animal though, because we've been doing a lot of sort of building of the facilities sections and sort of entrance ways and stuff like that. So I want to build for an animal next time. So some of the animals that I was thinking about adding were the kangaroos, I know I've mentioned them and adding them near the cassowaries at some point, which we could do. Or I was planning on adding giant otters near the babarusa habitat maybe, and possibly also the giant anteater near the capuchin monkey enclosure. They are also shy though, I think, or maybe not shy, but not confident. So we will have to be careful about how we add those if we do add them near the entrance of the zoo. So we'll have to bear that in mind. And I was also planning on eventually adding the blueprint for my petting zoo barn build that I posted over Christmas to this zoo. Although I might not have the same animals as I did in that video, because in that one we had the fallow deer and the ibex because it was for the European pack. That was when that came out that I made it. And yeah, I'm not sure the ibex is actually really that appropriate for a petting zoo. So we could have the llamas maybe in a petting zoo. The fallow deer did work, so we could have them still. I can't think off the top of my head what other sort of petting zoo animals we have in game. Not actually that many, I don't think. But if you have any ideas, do let me know down in the comments below. I am also really keen to add a tropical house for reptiles and then also an enclosure for African penguins as well as a sort of a sea life enclosure for seals and sea lions. So that would be nice to have like a little section where they could have a display or an animal talk as well because I think we got a new function. I can't remember if it was animal talks where you can sort of link it to benches or I can't remember if that's new or old but I haven't played with that function yet anyway so that would be nice to add. And I was also thinking we could add the sun bear at some point. That would be a nice addition. So yeah out of all of those animals let me know if you have any preferences down in the comments below or if you have any ideas for other animals. We haven't got any hoof stock animals yet I don't think so that would be nice to fit in near the start of a zoo. They're quite a normal one to have near the start. I did have a look last time though I seem to recall off camera and realise that a lot of the hoof stock animals are actually quite shy so that's why I haven't added one so far but it might be worth considering at some point. Lemurs as well could be a good one for early on in the zoo that might be nice. We also do need to build a proper restaurant or like coffee stall or something like that and we could add in something next episode but like I said I'm a bit sick of building these facilities building so I want to have a break from them for a while but we will eventually be using the new counter function when we do add a restaurant so I'm really excited to use that when we come round to it. And last time someone also commented that I should play around with different terrain levels as well in this zoo which I kind of forget about when I'm building in a zoo <laughs> I'm not gonna lie and I'm definitely gonna try and incorporate this as much as I can. I think I've tried to do a little bit of terrain work with the babarusas and the meerkats and sort of giving them a different level but in terms of the actual pathing and there's no bridges or sort of sunken terrain in terms of the zoo itself so that's something that I want to bear in mind and try and make a little bit more interesting and varied for the rest of the zoo now that we've sort of done the main entrance areas. Oh we could also add some bigger monkeys or like gorillas or something like that. I do definitely want gorillas in this zoo, possibly even orangutans as well. Can't remember off the top of my head what else they have in the game but yeah it would be nice to add some of those animals at some point as well. So let me know what you think of any of those suggestions down in the comments and I will see what I can do next episode. We've also still got a lot of little things to update around the zoo like the new fencing, some education boards and signs and I also want to design some billboards for the zoo as well eventually but that does take a lot of effort and one thing I was considering in case any of you know is whether it's possible to add the general education boards in game to the billboards because I don't like their decoration. They're quite modern aren't they? The sort of decoration around those general education boards. So I wanted to add them to a billboards but for some reason I've never been able to add them to long billboards. They always show up squished although I might be doing something really really stupid so if you have a fix for that let me know in the comments and also I don't think that the education boards work as billboards because the education function doesn't work. 
work. I didn't explain that very well, but I don't think billboards count as education for the guests in franchise mode, basically. So that level might suffer if we use billboards in that way. We'll have to try and figure out a way around it, but let me know in the comments if you know a fix for that. But to mention the build a bit that we're doing at the minute, building this gift shop took me so long. It took so much longer than I thought it would, partly because I couldn't figure out the general layout of the design and partly because of all the fiddly interior pieces that I added. I had no idea how the people who actually created the blueprints had the patience to make them and I am so grateful for their work because they're so detailed and intricate and what they've managed to create with such tiny shapes is amazing. So when I was recolouring the books at the end of this video I had to individually click on each of the pieces in the design on the front of them and they were made up of so many tiny pieces it was mad so yeah I'm just in awe like I said I will link all of the blueprints down in the description below but yeah I think my favorite are the little toy animals that I've added and I had a lot of fun choosing all of my favorites to add on the shelves I think they're so cute so I really enjoyed that I will say though it does really annoy me how dark the interior builds in Planet Zoo are I think the lighting system is really good for the outside of builds but the lights in game barely have any effect whatsoever on interiors and it's really rubbish for taking screenshots and things like that so it looks a bit sad and if you add too many lights in one room it starts to create a really weird orange glowing effect so you can't even fix it by doing that so that's a shame but oh well <laughs> and another thing that I haven't really had time to think about yet in this zoo but is on my radar to work out is what pieces I need to unlock some of my favourite backstage facilities blueprints from the workshop so I have one for animal cages and one for a wheelie bin and things like that and they are handy for adding details in zoos and I'm really keen to add them because I'm just enjoying filling every inch of this zoo in as well I love how detailed it's getting but I couldn't believe how expensive some of the blueprints I used were though we started with around 140,000 zoo dollars when we started building this episode and then as soon as I started placing some of the blueprint objects that went down very quickly so I don't know what pieces were so expensive in those blueprints but they really were and I think I will go back and change what I did on that wall display with all the t-shirts there because I have another blueprint in mind that I wanted to use there but I at this point of time haven't unlocked all of the mechanic research I need for it so I'll just sort that out another time but so far I'm really pleased with how this building has turned out in general. I might also make a change to a few of the colours on the interior and exterior as well of the gift shop actually too. Overall I think I'm really happy with the colour scheme throughout this zoo. I figured it out now I think with those warm stones and the yellow and dark grey plus walls and then that light timber as well is a really nice combination. It's just that any colours look really bad in the interior lighting in this game so I was struggling to make them look nice. I think it's because the textures on a lot of the wall pieces aren't actually for interiors. They're more appropriate for exterior walls so they look a little bit shinier than an interior wall normally would. Unless I'm mistaken, let me know if there are any good ones that have like a less shiny texture in the comments if you've got a good wall that you normally use for interiors. But I just want like a plain painted wall that obviously can be recolorable that sort of looks more softer and less sort of shiny than that plaster wall does. Anyway, it looks like we are coming up to the end of the speed build now so I will stop talking and I will catch back up with you in real time. Okay, so I've just taken a break from building for the time being, partly because we're getting a bit low on our funds. I mean, it's not really that low, we can afford a lot more, but I wanted to sort of speed through the game to save some more funds, or at least let the game play to save some more funds before I carry on building. And a few things have happened whilst I've been building as well, so I wanted to sort of catch you up and show you some of the baby peafowl that have been born whilst I was building. But first, this is what it looks like so far. So like I said, I use lots of blueprints from the Steam Workshop to sort of fill out this gift shop. This is obviously going to have like pathing and flooring and obviously a roof as well. I'm going to try and add some windows and make it as light as possible or just add some lights. Over here though, I was hoping that we could eventually add like a proper shop once they sort of add that feature. At the minute, it's only a feature that's available for restaurants in game. I could temporarily add some stalls. I think we've only unlocked the Looney Balloons one so far so we could 
could have that there or just for the time being sort of leave this blank or cut it off or something because yeah we don't have that feature yet so this bit will be unfinished but by the end of this episode I do hope to have finished the exterior of this build so this is what it looks like so far from how the guests would enter it on their way out of the zoo and then over here this is what the exit to it looks like I mean it still needs a little bit of work but yeah that was that I also thought I'd let you know that we sold some of the salamanders for some money so that gave us a bit of money and I was just about to sell some of the turtles for money as well we want to keep this one this one I think this one we didn't name these two are definitely named we can quick trade all of these so that's great we got some funds there then a few of the babaroos has aged up and they were actually threatening to inbreed I just immediately put them on contraceptives so you can see I've put all of the ones from Lakefield Zoo on contraceptives oh we don't need that one to be on contraceptives but I was wondering if we should actually sell them off let's have a look at the babaroosas and see what they need up to five so one male and four females so let's see what we've got two males so we'll need to send one off should we quick trade it I do want to sort of prioritize releasing them to the wild but we actually have quite a few conservation credits and I would rather have the money at this point in time so we'll quick trade him although it wasn't for very much and then ideally we need to get rid of another at least one so we could get rid of actually both of our little babies oh actually no we named them didn't we oh I didn't even think about that oh no oh we sent off hickory well that's a shame but we can keep these two just keep them on contraceptives how about that they can age up let's get rid of these two let's do that instead and then I wanted to show you our baby PFL, didn't I what? oh they're all under here <laughs> Oh, well first up this guy is doing a really cool animation so let's have a look at him <laughs> oh they're so pretty aren't they yeah so we've got a lot of pfl babies and I, I have a feeling they're going to breed like mad because they have done in the past so this one is a little white baby and then we've got another one over here and i think the male one this one yeah he's gold so that's really good so i think we might sort of keep him in future maybe but yeah i just thought you might want to see the little pfl babies because they're so cute oh <laughs> i really love the white variation and they're quite popular as well. There's lots of people viewing them. Maybe it's because the white ones, I'm not sure if they're rarer or more popular for some reason. But yes, I thought before we started building in, I would just catch you up on all of these things. So now we are sort of up to date. We're still getting profit. It's still going up, which is really, really good. So I might sort of speed along and finish off the rest of the building and then catch up with you at the end. How about that? Okay, so we are back into another speed build and whilst I have you, I wanted to quickly give a little shout out to one of my favourite content creators, Simming Slytherin. She does have a YouTube channel, but she mostly streams on Twitch these days and I will link both of these accounts in the video description for you to check out in case you're interested. But I want to shout her out because she recently started playing Planet Zoo for the first time on Twitch a couple of weeks back now. But because I haven't posted any Planet Zoo content in ages, I'm only just now mentioning it. But she is so lovely and fun funny and I always have so much fun in her stream so I just wanted to mention her in case anyone was interested in going and giving her a follow. In other news though or in my life outside of YouTube I mentioned earlier that I've been stressed about my interview and I have I've really been sort of distracted with that but also I've been really distracted by the fact that I'm currently in the process of buying a house which has been super stressful because I'm really close to the mortgage deadline now but we're waiting on something from the seller's solicitors and they're being really slow so I'm really worried that it's gonna fall through at the last moment and it's literally been like half a year since I went to view the house for the first time so it's taken so long but yeah because I've now got my promotion I'm worried that I might not be eligible for the shared ownership agreement anymore so oh it's just a palaver so I'm super stressed about that too but I am however looking forward to the new seasons that are coming out for some of my favorite tv shows so hopefully they'll be out later this month yeah late March I think I'm waiting for the new seasons of Bridgerton and Sanderton which I think I'm most excited for I recently read all of the Bridgerton books and I'm utterly obsessed so the next season is going to be Anthony's book which was also one of the best books in the series and I can't wait to see some of the scenes acted out in that because they're hilarious let me know if you're a fan down in the comments below but yeah for any fans my favorite book in the series was Hyacinth who's the youngest sibling and I am a younger sibling so I think I'm most likely 
like her as a character <laughs> but I also really liked Colin's story because Colin's one of my favourite male leads in the whole series so I can't wait for his season. It was also a really eventful book in terms of the plot as well but yeah I'm really looking forward to that. The newest season of Outland has just come out too so I can't wait to watch that but I haven't seen it yet because I'm currently re-watching all of the previous seasons first and then I'm also starting to read the books for the first time as well so I'm currently halfway through the first book so I'm looking forward to finishing that. I'll probably save the new season so I can watch it in order so I can remember what's happened. And then it's also Crufts here in the UK this weekend which is like a big thing for me. I didn't actually know it was on this year because it was cancelled possibly the last two years because of Covid. Yeah I think it's been two years now and I've been trying to get tickets to go or I've been telling myself that I want to get tickets to go for ages and I was going to get tickets for the year that it was cancelled the first time due to Covid but then obviously it was cancelled so I couldn't and obviously because it hasn't happened for the last two years I completely forgot about it it went off my mind and now it's happening again so I didn't get tickets this time but I will next year I promise because I've been before and it was like a dog lover's heaven because they've got hundreds of stalls where you can pet the dogs for each breed of dog and like meet the breed so I love it for that reason but there's obviously loads of dog stuff to do and buy. <laughs> for those of you who hadn't worked it out it's a dog show event but it has things like dog agility and heel works and music and things like that but I literally sit and watch the entire four days live streamed in a row on YouTube because they, they literally live stream the whole show and everything that goes on so yeah I will just sit down and watch it. I haven't started watching that yet but that is definitely on my to-do list so let me know down in the comments below if you're a big Crofts fan like me. I'm such a dog nerd but... <laughs> I would love to know and nerd out about dogs with you in the comments. But yeah, I just thought I would share some of the, the more positive things that I've got going on in my life that I've been distracting myself with recently. Maybe you're a big fan of some of those things as well. I'd love to know. But anyway, it looks like we're finishing up with a speed build now. So I will head back into real time. Okay, so I have finished building both the gift shop interior for now and the cassowary enclosure as well. So here is what it looks like so far. I added some ATMs over here. I added a staff room here and this will obviously be a ticket stall here. Just because I anticipated with a lot more vendors we might need a staff room dedicated to them. I haven't assigned a work zone to it yet, it's just sort of random. Then inside the gift shop, I also spent a long time building these sort of brochures. I used the books from one of the gift shop blueprints and then I just sort of duplicated and changed the colours as well. So that took a while but I, I really like how they look. And then this is like a newspaper stall that I got for blueprint. I'll link all of these down in the description box below. I finished off this interior as best as I'm going to for the time being. Added some more bits and pieces on the displays. Like I say this bit is going to be like hopefully a counter system when we get the new shop and then if we go through here so this is actually where the entrance would be for the gift shop so yes this is the entrance I've just added a little planter box here and then here this has got one keeper hut and then that goes into the cassowaries enclosure and they've got a little interior section here but yeah this is the keeper door into the cassowary enclosure I've got a lot of heaters in there because it was snowing as you probably did see as I was building at some point so that was pretty annoying to have to build in that but no worries and then yeah this is their little new enclosure so I'm glad we finally got this sorted for them it's not super fancy at all there's a little bit of a section back here for them to hide in which is quite nice I can't remember if it was on camera or off camera but their baby aged up so I released it to the wild because we've got one in storage already as it is I think I actually changed the back of the walls to corrugated iron or metal whatever it is just because I wanted it to be opaque I didn't want to be able to see past the fence. It looks quite rough but I think it's quite realistic for this type of zoo. I don't know why it keeps saying this about these feeders. Oh I know what it is because I've made the door too low for the keepers. Yeah they can't get through there. Oh that is so annoying. Let's just make this section bigger. 
Okay, so I've just moved everything up a bit and made the door a bit bigger. Hopefully now it should work. Let's have a look. Yay! Okay, so the staff can now actually enter the enclosures. So yes, they were fed there, but they should put them in the food bowls from now on. So that's good. And I also added some of the fencing that I made last episode. I added these education boards on in a pretty simple way. I've just got this metal bracket. I'm not sure if I really like them. I kind of wish that these education boards were a bit smaller, to be honest, or that we had had some variety in sizes because I'm not sure all of the billboard screens work for education. I don't think they count in franchise mode for some reason. Let me know if I'm wrong. I'm not sure if I'll keep all of them like that. I might go back and do an overhaul of all the education because some of the old education boards need replacing anyways. Oh yes, we did actually have some animal names. Oh, he had his feathers out. Some animal names that I wanted to add for you that you guys have requested. The only animal names we had were for the Babaroos. So we need a male and a female, which is perfect. So the female, someone asked if they could be called Ambrosia. And then the male, someone asked for it to be called Ambrosius. So there you go. And if you have any more animal names, especially for our peacocks or our peafowl, then let me know in the comments down below. So yeah, I'll just put the camera on these cuties whilst I sign off because that is everything that I wanted to do in this episode. So I really, really hope you like it. I just wanted to get some of the building sorted for that entrance section of the zoo because I feel like it's been unfinished for way too long. But now that we've got that done, we can add some more exciting animals next time and obviously finish off these guys' enclosure as well. So yeah, let me know what you want to see next episode if there's any animals animals in particular you want me to add but yeah that's it from me I really hope you like this episode as always if you like this video then please like comment and subscribe thank you so much for watching I will see you next time bye everyone